This your boy Papa Pimp. Just letting y'all know I'm going live Thursday, 8 p.m. And before I get into this, shout out to all the people that donated to my channel. I couldn't do it without y'all. But make sure you come to my live Thursday, 8 p.m. Men, women, everywhere. Share, subscribe. Let everybody know my lives are what it is. Thursday, 8 p.m. Be there. This your boy Papa Pimp with another breakdown of my video of Code Approach Success. Also with the success, you know, it becomes failure. So you're going to see some rejections too, but you're going to see success also. And this is the video I'm going to explain the success I had in this video, how I Code Approach, what I could have did better. And I'm also going to ask y'all what y'all would have did in these situations. Let's get into this video. Excuse me. I'm gonna tell you, you're really beautiful though. What's your name? Oh, thank you. You got a pretty smile. My name is oh, Corey. Nice to meet thank you. you. Nice to I'm new out here for Atlanta, so. So you see how I came in with a beautiful. I said she had a pretty smile. You know what I'm saying? Some people think it's simpish. Um, really, it's not. It's just that's my opening to start a conversation. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it don't. I just think that um, if you tell a woman she's beautiful, she has a pretty smile. If you're able to see her face, some dudes might be like she ain't beautiful. It's not about that it's about you're trying to connect with this woman. So you see a woman, let's say you see a woman that got a, a big butt, but she ain't that pretty in the face. You're going to tell her she ugly? Or you can use something different, but it's nothing wrong with telling a woman that to start an opening up a conversation. I thought I introduced myself. Well, thank you. You originally from out here? I, I am. Hold on one second. I was on the phone. Okay, yeah, I'm going to ask you out. Maybe I can take you out sometime. You know, you're really pretty, though. I mean, oh, you show, maybe you can you. show me around the city a little bit. Oh, no, you can give me your number. Now, you see how she said you can give me a number, you know what I'm saying? You can take that like you want to take it. I'm not a big fan of giving women my number. And you know what I'm saying? I felt like if I come to you and ask you out, you give me your number. But at the same time, you can take the chance and get the number if you want. Like, if you really, let's say you're not doing a channel like me and you're going up to a woman. Let's say I'm going up to a woman when I'm not doing the channel. If she's trying to give me a number, I'll take it. But I'm not a big fan of taking women's number. I want you to give me your number. Okay. You ain't gonna call back. I can't get your I number. Will. <laughs> <laughs> I will. Yeah, yeah, I can take your number. You know what I'm saying? Maybe we, we can start off texting and like, you know. That'll, that'll be fine. Talking on the phone. Um, what's your number? No, you give me yours. Okay. Now, you see what she did? She said, no, you give me yours. So, you know what I'm saying? That's kind of a sign that um you can call it success. You can call it fair. You can call it in between. It just depends on if she's going to respond. Like I said, I don't like that. That right there was another sign of her saying, you can give me yours. You know what I'm saying? So, guys, it's just practice. You're trying to build yourself up. You build your confidence up. And you're trying to, you know, find out where your game is at. And that's what you can do by approaching women. Because you cannot get anywhere with a woman if you don't get a number. I don't care if you want to date her, be a boyfriend, have sex with her, marry her. You got to get a phone number. You ain't just about to go up to her and not get no phone number and take her home. It don't work like that. You know what I'm saying? That's a once in a blue moon type of shit to be going on. Okay, so my number. You can give me yours. My number is three three six. Sorry, you give me your name again. I apologize. Corey, Corey C O R Y. C O R Y. Yeah, you the women don't call you when you get a number, but maybe you'll show me something different now. Okay, well, thank that. you. So, like, um, how your schedule be though? You be pretty free and stuff. I yes, I am. Okay, okay. what's your favorite food to eat? Seafood. 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 Okay. Maybe we get some coffee. Maybe we get some coffee and ice cream. You like cocoa? Oh no, I don't like chocolate. You don't like chocolate? Why you don't like chocolate? I just don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Then well, I don't talk to you later. Thank you. <laughs> now you seen how that was just um you know simple good conversation. She was really friendly. No, she took my information and put it in her phone. So you know what I'm saying. I can't really knock her. I, I like to be in control, you know what I'm saying? Because I feel like at the end of the day, if she ain't going to respond, she ain't going to respond. But I want to be in one in control because I feel like that you're the man. You're going up to her. Why are you going to take my number for? You, you know what I'm saying? I'm the man. You the woman. So she tried to reverse it so she could have the power. Really, it was about her trying to have control over who texts and calls her phone. See, she was smart. When women ask you, say, let me get your number, they're trying to control the narrative on if I should hit them up, if I'm going to hit him up, and if I do, I'm just saying, really, they got the power when they play that type of game. Let's get into this next pickup. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. oh, so you really pretty, though. What's your name? Thank you. It's Dean. 
Well, you call me B. Well, my name's Corey. Nice hey, to meet Corey. you. I'm your wife from Atlanta, so I thought I'd introduce myself. Now, you see how excited she got. She was very friendly. She started smiling when I said she was pretty. So it was a good opening on both of the um, first two. The women were friendly. They smiled. They was happy. They probably, you don't even know, a lot of these women ain't even getting conversation like that. And better yet, even getting told they pretty. Because dudes, like, don't say nothing to them. So it's not, you know what I'm saying? You can call it what you want to call it. There's nothing wrong with saying that. You make their day and they be feeling that stuff too, though. So you can go a different route and say different things. You could have, I could have said, you know, what you got in your basket? You buy me something. Uh, you know, I could have said a lot of things, but I decided to say pretty. So it, it works for me. And it can work for you too. So maybe I can get I like to know you. I'm get to get your number and hang out sometime. Okay, that's fine. Pulling okay. cool up. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. What's your number? Three three six. Okay, yeah, I'll call you right now. Yeah, yeah, I just moved out here to Atlanta. I've been out here like a couple months. Yeah, I, I, I ain't really too knowing of this place either. I'm a Winston, so oh, okay, I just okay. live in Yeah, I live in Greensboro, so I ain't okay. too far from here. Yeah, it's not too far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We can hang out some. Yeah, I hit you up tonight. Okay. All right, you have a good one. Yeah. Now, she was one of them good souls, friendly people. You, you want women like this because it makes it easy for you to practice. Let's say you're not feeling a woman. If you ain't feeling it, you ain't got to call her. But if you're feeling it, you can. You know what I'm saying? It helps you work up your confidence. You're just trying to get comfortable talking to women. And then, you know what I'm saying? And once you build that confidence to talk to women, you can go call that women you like. You know what I'm saying? Because you got to be able to start somewhere. And I feel like that when you out code approaching women, you, you know what I'm saying? If you're scared, then what makes you think you're going to go over here to the most prettiest woman? Because if you're scared of her, you're going to be scared of somebody more attractive. So you should not be scared to approach any woman. It don't matter how pretty she is or nothing. A woman is just like anybody else. Just because she's pretty don't mean she's going to be mean or nasty. If she ain't feeling you, she ain't feeling you. Because you might got a woman over there. She might be the baddest woman you've seen in the store. And you not going over there just because she's pretty is missing on an opportunity because she might like you. She might be feeling you. She might not have nobody trying to approach her because just like you got women who are not attractive that men are afraid. To, well, not afraid. Like, you got women that are not attractive and men don't want to approach them like this so they don't get a lot of approaches so they more they more open to giving you the number. Then you got beautiful women who you would think a lot of guys approaching them but they might not be getting approached as much because think about it. You, know, you got guys saying, well, they too beautiful for me to go up to. I'm scared and stuff like that. So don't never be scared to approach a woman because you never know when it's your opportunity and your time to get a number then you can take from there. Now, it requires more game once you get her phone number, but you know what I'm saying? You got to get the number first. Excuse me. I want to tell you, you're really pretty though. What's your name? What? You're a really pretty lady. What's your name? Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. You see how she smiled and laughed? She didn't speak English very well. She was an African chick, you know, an older African chick. So she really didn't know what I was talking about. But you know what I'm saying? She knew I was trying to come up and hold a conversation. You from around here? What? You must be from Africa. I am from Africa. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was, I'm like new out here from Atlanta, so I thought I'd introduce myself. You're very pretty though. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My name is Corey. Nice to meet you. Um, nice to meet you. My name is Kati. Oh, Kati. How long you been out here? Now, you see how... Um, you know what I'm saying? I told her she was pretty as well. It was a good conversation. You know, we were shaking hands and stuff like that. You see how nice and cool she was in that situation. So it wasn't very hard to interact with her. Because a lot of times, a lot of um, people from foreign countries are, um, they're very pleasant. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes they might act off standards or scary because they knew out here. But a lot of times when they're comfortable in America, they're very friendly, even if, even if they're not feeling you. What? How long you been living here? Uh, three years now. Oh, okay, okay. Well, you got family out here? Yes, I have family. Oh, okay, I'll go come over here, ask you out. Maybe I can get to know you a little bit. We can you go You say you're from here? Yeah, I'm from here. Well, I moved here from um, Florida. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe we can um, stay and I can take you out sometimes. <laughs> you, you don't have a man, do you? You're single? <laughs> I shouldn't have asked, do you have a man? You know what I'm saying? That's one thing you shouldn't do. And sometimes I say stuff like that because I just be thinking of stuff off the top of my head. I should have never said, do you have a man? Because you're opening the door for her to say, yes, I do. You know what I'm saying? Cause a lot of women are want to find excuses to either say no to you or make you work harder. So don't give them opportunities by saying they have a man. It don't even matter because at the end of the day, if she got a man, she'll give you the, she won't give you the number and she'll say it. You know what I'm saying? Don't give them extra 
you know, don't give them no kind of incentive or anything to say, I got a man. Yes, you're right. I got a man. <laughs> yeah, we we'll, yeah, we can because I had nothing with English. I speak French. My English is just oh, I don't so, know if you list anyone. Yeah, know. yeah, I was like, you can get your number and get to know you a little bit. Okay, can you give me your number? Yeah, I'll put your number on my phone. Let me put you. What's your number? Um, yeah, I'm gonna put it. You use WhatsApp? Yes, I have. Okay, but you do you have a regular number too? Yes. Oh, okay. okay, yeah, I'll put your number on my phone. This your regular number? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. 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 You from Massachusetts? Okay. 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 Yeah, yeah. Maybe we can go out sometimes though. Okay. 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 All right. Sniffle. She was um like I said, she was very friendly. Now y'all seeing my code approach success. Y'all can see from the beginning, you might can question that first one. She took my number, I didn't get to get hers. I didn't plan for it to be that way, but sometimes it is what it is though. But if you want code approach success in this game of code approaching women, or it could be eye contact, whatever. If you want success in getting women, you're going to have to step your game up with your confidence and approaches. You're gonna have to step it up. I don't care if you if you raw. I don't care what it is. You got to go up to him approaching. Just don't come off scary and trying to scare him and stuff like that. And nothing like that. Go up to him, talk to him, hold a conversation. Don't care about what other people think. You know what I'm saying? If you're worried about what other people are around, wait till they by themselves. You know what I'm saying? Do what you do because that's the only way you're going to be able to um overcome your fears because it's going to be a lot of haters out here and you can't worry about the haters worry about you because once you start getting these women the haters gonna grow even bigger because the haters don't like to see you dudes that can't get women don't like to see other men don't get women because they want you to stay where they at you know what i'm saying because you're gonna be telling real life stories of you picking up women and dating women while they're gonna be lying like most guys lie anyway so if you want to get your game up step your game up so in this video, let me know what y'all think about my pickups, all three of them. Let me know what I could have did better, what y'all thought I did wrong. Let me know what's up, man. It's your boy Papa Pimp. Holla at you.